He is. Luis Rodriguez, otherwise known as Smooth Lou. How are you going, Smooth Lou? Hello. Smooth Lou. Yeah, great to be here. I'm smooth as can be. <laughs> is 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 Smooth Lou there? Uh, he's a, no. He's definitely on. I I see his phone number here. <laughs> guys, can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. There you are. There you are. Hi. <laughs> hello, guys. What's happening? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I was uh, uh, trying to get on the line, and I had a sex doll flotation device related mishap. So. Um, it happened. You know, if you could, you know, if you couldn't hear me for a second, it, we're good now. We're good now. Well, if that's the reason, I, 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 I'm sorry for interrupting you. No, no, hey, I mean, you know, I just call it Sunday. Just a regular old Sunday in the old Rodriguez household. So, uh, so what's going on, fellas? What's uh, what's the word? You guys, uh, you guys feeling all right? Well, I'm not really a Bears fan, so it really didn't affect me at all. Oh, I just meant in general, in life, you know. Um, the uh, the Bears is that a is that a thing going on right now? I don't really follow the football. In, yeah. In <laughs> Uh, uh, apparently it's a thing that you know we I vented on it for the first fifteen minutes and how dumb Bears fans are, but I'm over it. Yeah, you know the kids. It's what the kids do. So you uh, are. Uh, I would consider you a man of many hats. You do. I do indeed perform. have many hats. I have like three or four hats here. Thank you for noticing the hat. So uh, if I if I just okay. say what Smooth Lou is, what what are you? Okay. What am I? I'm a guy. Uh, I, I I like entertaining people. You know, um, that would be first and foremost on the list. I am a human beatbox. I uh, I I rock uh, a microphone from here to Japan. Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, it, you uh, you tell me. You know, it's like it, you give me an opportunity to entertain you, and I will do my best to entertain you. That's uh, you know, I wish I had a better answer for you, but uh, but that's basically it. You definitely have a booming yeah. radio voice. Well, thank you, thank you, Tinky. Am I saying that correctly? I've only yes. read his books, so you know, I didn't want to say Tinky. That didn't seem right. So Tinky, the old <laughs> Russian in you. He is Tinky. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I can't read my own handwriting. So uh, we had Muff Seven on. A couple of weeks ago, Muff you've seven, uh, you, sure. you've done stuff with Must Seven. How how'd that go? Must Seven, yeah, we used to do shows back in the day. Um, Gustav Manhul and uh, Dusty Bottoms, right? That's the the Muff Seven guys, uh, the, the the skinny one and the fat one. Yeah, uh, those yes. guys are all right. They're all right. Um, that Gustav Manhul has uh, slightly more hair than uh, Disney Moore's Muff in the 1980s. So I guess I'm assuming that's what they're uh, referring to in the title of their that name. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, yeah, those guys are great. Uh, basically, uh, the stuff that I used to do with them was um, I would beatbox uh, before their set, you know, to warm up the crowd, which let me just say went over very well. Um, and then they would go on and ruin all the goodwill that I had created. But you know, I mean, that's life. What can you do? So. Uh, <laughs> Did that thoroughly answer your question, Dinky? Sure. What's going on with Louie back there? I I feel like Louie's being underrepresented on this uh, on this podcast here. Oh, uh, it's, it's it goes with the name. I'll tell you. I don't know if you get the same uh, scourge I get. We'll go with the uh, smooth. Let's see. You got smooth Lou. I'm just Louie. Okay. I I got up with a moniker in front of the Louie. And there I also I uh, see. I'm I'm stuck on this podcast, and you've got your own, you know, smooth cast. Yes. So maybe, maybe that's where I need to get going. Maybe you can talk a little bit about the Smoothcast there, Smooth Lou. Uh, the Smoothcast is a podcast that uh, I put up every now and again uh, when I'm not uh, feeling too lazy. Um, I've actually got one in the can right now uh, from New Year's. It's my New Year's resolution show uh, so that you understand the uh, level of laziness that you're dealing with here. Um, yeah, it's a podcast, uh, general interest type stuff. We have uh, musicians that I like that uh, I throw up on the uh, uh, on the show, and, um, you know, we like to showcase uh, new musicians. So if anybody out there listening 
uh, would like to get a hold of me, you can uh, reach out to me at smoothly.com. And, uh, you know, we uh, we put on new musicians. I mean, that's that's basically what we do. And, you know, I, I, I like to tell some, some jokes, I guess. Well, you know, I, more accurately, uh, me and my co-host, uh, Carrie Ann, uh, we just like to uh, keep things interesting more than uh, more than tell jokes. It's really just you know uh, what we've been up to, how we're doing, that kind of thing. So, uh, so yeah, that's the show. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty interesting. And pretty the, interesting. The last show you had loaded it was the emo show, and I just want to <laughs> I just want to say this: like, me, me and Louie both swing on the emo side. I guess like a lot of the bands we listen to are more emo, and you know we kind of get it. We get the culture. And that was a really fun show. Okay. Who, who, who's, the, who's the guest on that? Because I might want to have him on here. Hello. He dropped off, Louie. He's no longer on the line. I think we, we offended him. <laughs> I don't think so. I, I think when he's back out, I'm going to let him know that I I don't like emo. That, that's all. That's all pinky. Oh yeah. I don't know emo. No, no, not me. So let's see if he calls back in. But yeah, until then, I'll I'll discuss this show. He had a as on smoothloo dot com. He had a uh, like they did an emo thing, and it was all like you know, one of his friends is in a some you know local emo band and we had a, a very nice spirited discussion and then it ended with a segment that they do called Hot Fire Hot Garbage which is what Louie or S- Smooth Lou is going to do with us is he's going to put us through the ringer with Hot Fire Hot Garbage but let's see if he calls back but basically what it was is like he would you know they, they announced the segment starting and then he would fire out not questions but just statements he's back with us Hello. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, AT and T. What can I say? Drop yeah, calls, yeah. drop calls, and I'm, drop I'm, calls. I'm, but, um, I was telling the mess about hot fire, hot garbage. So now you're you're on here. You can explain it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so basically, uh, one of the uh, one of the segments on my show normally uh, devolves into a shouting match called uh, hot fire, hot garbage. Uh, you know, being uh, red-blooded Americans, we tend to take uh, extreme sides on just about any issue out there. Um, and hot fire, hot garbage is uh, uh, is my way of uh, asking my guests whether or not they feel that uh, something is, um, uh, you know, great, but, you know, fantastic, uh, you know, hot fire. Or if it's just unbelievable garbage, you know, a.k.a. hot garbage. So um, you had mentioned before that you actually wanted to... Uh, you, you guys wanted to play? Are you guys interested in a little fire hot garbage? I'm cool with that. Let's go. Okay. Uh, this is my 2010 edition of Hot Fire Hot Garbage. Uh, these are uh, events that occurred in 2010. Feel free to uh, shout out uh, however you feel about the uh, about the following events. And, uh, you know, we can talk about it a little. Um, number one, uh, Bill Clinton still working his ass off in Haiti. Hot fire hot garbage, guys. I say hot fire. Hot. I say hot garbage. <laughs> I, 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 anyone, I'm, anyone hot garbage. Their... I'm curious about hot garbage. Yeah, go hot garbage first. Yeah, hot here. garbage. What, 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 I, okay, well, my whole, my, I, I have, I have serious issues with the, with the whole Haiti thing. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, any, anybody, uh, to give Clinton too much credit, or to give him any credit, I mean. Yeah, he's a, he's a figurehead for this whole thing, but the money's going nowhere. People that actually need the money and need the resources still aren't getting it. So he's the giant showpiece for something that is basically an immense and total failure. I would say his his, his contribution is hot fire. Haiti's distribution is hot garbage. Yeah, I, 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 I'm trying to put on, uh, on Tinky's uh, side of this as far as, you know, I mean, the whole thing is just such an ungodly mess. Uh, but I'm glad that there's somebody like him, uh, you know, like Bill Clinton, that's actually still there. You know, I mean, a year later, uh, the fact that he's still out there, I mean, that says a lot. I mean, considering how much, do, you know, devotion uh, the news networks gave to Haiti for all of, you know, three weeks, and then they just kind of left. And, you know, I guess uh, the American uh, populace just kind of assumes that these things go away, but, I mean, the reality is it's, it's fucking terrible out there, you know. Can I swear on no. this show? 
I, I mean, you already did. I have no way to edit it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, live podcasting. Fantastic. All right, we're on to the next one. Um, right. Why Jean running for president of AD? Hot fire, hot garbage. Hot garbage. Yeah, I'm going to third. Uh, bad rap guy doing uh, any disservice to this poor, poor uh, country. You know, uh, thankfully they said that he wouldn't be able to run anyway. So I guess we dodged that bullet. I don't want um, him being president of the Fugees. Yeah, I mean the Fugees <laughs> were pretty great. His solo career was pretty awful. Um, so maybe, hopefully, now that he's. Uh, He's in the spirit of goodwill. He can get in the studio and uh, get that Lauren Hill out of uh, whatever weird exile she's been in. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the Olympics was big in 2010, if you guys remember, uh, back in February. Uh, I tend to not particularly give a shit about Winter Olympics because uh, uh, my people are criminally underrepresented, maybe because uh, they uh, there's no such thing as snow in Mexico. I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, figure skating. Hot fire or hot garbage? Wait, just figure skating? Figure skating. All right, as a whole, hot garbage. Female figure skating, hot fire. <laughs> you know, no, I'm not even going to give you that much hot fire. Uh, maybe two or three female figure skaters, hot fire. As a whole, hot garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I guess, yeah. I when you have yeah, the hot... I like yeah, the pizzazz, you know, when 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 they got the jazz hands going and everything, fantastic, fantastic. Really, it's the only it's the only part of uh, part of the Olympics that I enjoy. But yeah, mostly the females. I mean, mostly some of those guys, you know, kind of dream boats. You know, let me just throw that out there. You know, they uh, when they wax anyway. I said too much. Um, curling, curling is a winter Olympic event. Curling, hot fire, my favorite sport. Are you serious? I love I I watch the hell out of curling. Oh okay, my um, god. Well I'll I'll be the voice of reason. <laughs> I'm going hot garbage. It's it's essentially like, watching um shuffleboard with a little more action. Also hot fire. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, 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 if anything, you know, my people, uh, of which there are many janitors, I would really think they would get in on that curling action. You know what I mean? There's a broom involved. Uh, you're not even wearing skates. You're just kind of slipping around on the ice. I don't know. I don't know. Curling, uh, for me, is maybe just about the worst thing on the planet Earth. But um, I'm glad somebody likes you, Tinky. I'm so I have the app on my phone. So I have a curling app on my phone where I play curling when I'm on the train. But in the I Olympics... Do? I'm dead serious. I love curling. <laughs> I don't know if that's bad or funny. It's a nice I, I collective really laughter. Never cry. <laughs> but uh, the thing with curling is, if you watch the Olympics this year, some of the curling teams were actually kind of hot. Really? It's oh, like there was some hot curling it? action. It, it's co-ed, think... isn't it? It's like just guys and girls kind of going at it. and Well, that sounds awesome. That sounds way awesomer than curling. But, I mean, it's like guys and girls together on a team, right? No, the, did I the make that up? male, female, but the German team was pretty hot. The Russian team, that was something. That's like you put that on Maxim immediately, how hot they were. Nice. Did any of them get, like, sexy Playboy deals or anything? Or I Playboy think the Russians were ass. Interesting. Huh? Interesting. What's, I'm going to have okay, to Google this. I'm going to have to Google some Google of the, the Russian curling team. Ladies. Yes. Um Okay, uh, we're on to the awfulness of the BP oil spill. Uh, buying gas from BP, hot fire, hot garbage. How empty is my tank? <laughs> yeah, I mean that's kind of uh, that's that's really the question, isn't it? I mean, uh, you know, are, are you so filled with vitriol? I mean, so many people out there were just so mad at BP that they were just like, we're going to boycott BP or whatever. Um, I mean, were you guys boycotters? Were you guys uh, were not you a guys boycotter? Boycott? But my root, for some reason, always has a higher than average BP price than some of the other things that are right there. So I tend to stay away from BP just on that, but not because like they spilled oil all over Louisiana. Like, I have no love for Louisiana. <laughs> are you a hater? Of I, honestly, this, are you, 
think he's a hater. Are you more a lover of a gas of a full gas tank than you are a lover of Louisiana? Is that what you say? I would say four cents a gallon cheaper at at Sitco. <laughs> that's more <laughs> that's my motive. Think. That's it. I get you. I get you. Um, buying gas from anywhere, hot fire, hot garbage. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, that's really the question. Why is it that we were uh, going so hard against uh, BP when really, I mean, it could have been any of these guys. You know what I mean? They're all yeah. kind of just as lousy, no? Uh, luckily enough, I don't have a car anymore, so I walk everywhere. So I don't buy gas from anything. Yeah, and really, I mean, who knows where, who, where, who knows where all your goods are coming from anyway? You know what I mean? Like, one of these trucks has got to be filling up with BP, like, who are these people boycotting saying, you know, I'm done with DP when really you don't you legitimately have no say in the matter when push comes to shove. You know, if you're buying something from somewhere, it's coming from somewhere, it's coming on a truck, you know what I mean? So Yeah. I, I think it's a little right. I think it's a little self right, so it's a little bogus, you know. One last one for us. Uh one last one. Here we go. Um the Chilean miners. Hot fire, hot garbage. Ah, uh, I would say hot fire just for the miners. The coverage was hot garbage, but th- this is my Halloween costume, actually. I was a Chilean miner for Halloween. Oh, that's fantastic. Did you have 30, uh, 33 other people, or was it just you? Me, just were me. you involved in this Halloween costume? No, I was, was not. They... I, I'm going to go ahead and, and guess that it was uh, just Tinky by himself, which made him the saddest surviving Chilean miner ever. <laughs> Could you even fit inside the uh, inside the little uh, rocket ship there, Tinky? I could now. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, part of the custom was is you know they all lost a, a hell of a lot of weight. I've lost like what, seventy pounds over the past like season. So like I I took off wow. my clothes and and wore that. So I'm like okay. So I had that and I covered it Clever. all in mud. Clever. So, okay. So I'm like okay. At the Halloween party, I'm covered in mud. You know how hard it is to pick up a girl covered in mud. <laughs> Things you didn't think of beforehand. Poor costume. I, Bad idea. Bad idea. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, okay, well, uh, I guess this would be my last one. Uh, the Chilean miner that wanted to have both his wife and mistress on the scene. Hot fire, hot garbage. Hot garbage. Pick um, oh, I'm hot fire. <laughs> hot fire ball down. Talk about a guy. I mean, talk about testicular fortitude. You know what? I'm coming out. And you know what? Uh, little lady, I want you there, and uh, wife, yeah, I want you there too. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I was a hot fire camp on that one too. It's like, hey, listen up, wife. Uh, I've been underground with a bunch of dudes for this long. Why don't you come stand here with this other bitch? Love to lay in minor guy. You know, I get it. Like, I get where he's coming from. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in the pro creepy. Wife and mistress deal, but unfortunately the wife never showed. I think it was just the mistress, which says a lot about the both of them. I don't know, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, I give him the hot fire for that one, and the high fire. What the hell, you know? Uh, well, thanks for playing, guys. Thank you very much. Hey, uh, uh, do you have anything coming up soon? Uh, do I have anything coming up soon? Yeah, I should have a, uh, a new podcast up tomorrow uh, at smoothly.com. Um, as you mentioned, uh, we do call it the smooth cast, uh, because it's a more, far more obnoxious name than, you know, uh, podcast with smooth or whatever. And, um, other than that, I mean, uh, this year is, uh, devoted to making music. I, uh, uh, I sing, I rap, I do all of that. Um, so hopefully you guys will be hearing from me soon and, uh, I'd love to come back on the show at that point. You know, we can talk more about it, uh. Uh, you know, more about some of the projects that I'm working on. But uh, right now, no, uh, you know, hopefully we'll have a new podcast up every other week, and uh, that'll be the way that we go. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Thanks well, thank you, Dinky. Louie, it's been a pleasure. A damn pleasure.